a lot of time has been spent by me to try to get Flight Simulator to run above 20 frames at times, 30 frames, certainly never really hitting 40 or 50. But after many, many weeks of searching, I found this video from a user named Kefren, and I'd say from about 30 seconds to two minutes and 40 seconds where he tweaks some of the ways to start up the program that are actually really quick and easy to do. And I'll post a link in the description of, of what to do. I haven't actually checked uh, on the frame rate boost using these tricks, but it was all part of this program kind of turning around and getting faster for me. So I'm gonna post that link do those tweaks in that time range. Now, when he gets to the point where he actually shows the settings, which I think is the most critical part in the game, that's where I took some of his suggestions later, which I, again, I wouldn't recommend watching only because I've been tweaking them. And for some reason, I'm getting like 40 to 50 now. And the game looks amazing. So I found some kind of secret blend that I really want to share with you guys. I have a 2080, 2080 Ti, and I have, which does 4K pretty well, um, and was struggling with this game and I have a very older processor and 32 gigs of RAM. So it's a good system, but it's not perfect. And if we go into general here, you might want to take a screenshot of this. I have to show you settings because this works. And you can see right there, it's running at 4K. TAA is on, which makes the aliasing go away. It looks a lot better. Now notice render scaling. A lot of people have this as being lowered. I'm not lowering it. So the only thing I lowered here is and this is from his previous, the link that I'm gonna to post to you guys. The terrain level of detail, I lowered to 30. You can see all those other settings are high. Let me zoom out a little bit. We'll pull this down. And these, mostly I think I just pulled down high settings and adjusting. What I did adjust though is the object's level of detail, 30. And the terrain level of detail, 30, which sounds low. I think he had lowered his to 20. And I was like, I don't want to lower that stuff. And then I started running the game and I was like, this game looks amazing. So the rest of it, you can see there, there's some even some ultra in there and the antis, antis, I can't even pronounce that. The AF is set to 16, super sampling, four by four, ultra, the rest of the settings you can see. These, I think I just never touched. The ones that were important were the ones I set to 30, the objects level of detail, 30, train level of detail, Tail 30, anti-aliasing TAA, render scaling I did not touch. So let's see how it looks in the game. I'm telling you, this is the combination that improved everything. So you can see right here I'm flying using the old Thrustmaster Warthog, it's beautiful. Rudder control down here. And look at this. So let's do a little view right here. See the level of detail and the anti-aliasing is just gorgeous. Now, even with those lowered settings, I know it's hard to tell in the screenshot here or move or video. There's a little, it's a little fuzzier from this point of view, but I don't really fly in that point of view. I fly from this point of view or this. Now look at the frame rates. Now inside the cockpit is the most demanding. So 36, 33, 31, very playable. Let's zoom out. Now look what we're getting. 46, 47, 50, 51. I was never hitting this with it looking this good. This is beautiful to fly in. I mean, look at that. So I'm telling you guys, those settings that I that I had, that I tweaked, which were basically those two that I set to 30, basically changed the game. And, and now look at what we're getting. That's insane. I was never getting that before. Again, the cockpit view, which I don't use a lot of. I know it's it's more advanced for purist. Um, now we're getting 40, maybe because it's preloading 37. And I'm waiting for the new GTX 3080 card if I can ever get it. But at any rate, please look at those settings, look at the link. And I'm telling you, this changed the whole experience for me. Because now I can actually play this game. It looks great. And plus you're playing up really up high and I'm telling you, it looks amazing. There's really no sacrifice and you have many settings on high and ultra. So this is the special sauce, I think, that actually makes the game extremely fun and playable and you're not sacrificing. And thanks to Kefren for leading me in the right direction. So, all right, more flying to do, but check these settings out.